Hi, I'm Michael, and this is What's Up With Sumo! What? <laughs> the first thing I wanted to tell you about this week is the Firefox Clinic that we had last month. It was so, so great. Uh, we had about 51 people show up and um, a bunch of Mozilla employees and a couple of community members and we answered Firefox questions all afternoon. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. We had um, a big range of people from, you know, oh my God, I'm totally new to computers. I've never used Firefox before kind of questions to, you know, web developer, how do I use uh, Firebug and, you know, web console and things like that. Um, so it was really great. One of the things that we saw that, you know, everybody had in common was that, you know, everyone in general just wanted to know more about Firefox, about the internet, about Mozilla. It, it was really cool. I mean, you should watch. I, I made a blog post here and there's a couple of videos. Uh, they're short. You should really check them out. There's uh, one that Spencer made that's a nice wrap up of the day. It's very cool. And then um, there's a couple of longer uh, excerpts from some interviews um, with people who were there, you know, explaining that thing about getting more information just about, you know, the internet, Firefox, all that stuff. So let me tell you about this cool, cool thing that Toby made. Um, for those of you who don't know, Toby is a longtime Sumo contributor. And um, a couple of months ago, he made an add-on um, for finding the um, names of, of um, knowledge base articles when you're answering questions on the support forum. It was kind of like an autocomplete thing. Well, he's turned it, um, he wrote the code so, and submitted it, and now it's part of uh, Sumo. It's not an add-on anymore. Um, this has been live for about a week now. It's very cool. Let me show you how it works. Oh, and first, this works on the support forum. It works in a knowledge base article, um, and I believe it also works in the um, contributor forum. So, let's say you need to find the name of an article and make a link to it. So right here, this happens to be a knowledge base article, but again, works the same way everywhere. You click the link button and you start typing the name of the article you want. So in this case, I'm gonna try, um, it's how to set the home page, right? It, it starts to do like a search for you as you type. You can select from the results, so I'll select it. And if I insert this right now, it'll insert a regular wiki link called how to set the home page and link directly to the article. It's really nice. Um, but wait, there's more. Let's say you wanted to go to a subsection of that article. Now I can type pound and it gives me all the um, other sections of the article. So I can do like, for instance, restore the default home page. Now it changes the link text to restore the default home page. It changes the URL and I can hit insert link and it makes a nice wiki link. Here, I can preview it and I'll show you just like that. Um, it's super cool, give it a try. It really speeds up finding links to things when you're answering questions. Um, and the last thing I wanted to tell you about is the knowledge base meeting that we had um, last Thursday and then we're gonna continue to have uh, on a weekly basis. So it's 9 a.m. on Thursdays. There's all the call-in video details uh, on the wiki page, but um, basically last week we had like a sort of long, it's about an hour and 20 minute uh, brain dump of all the stuff happening with the knowledge base, um, especially all the things that will be changing um, with the new information architecture and, and user um, uh, experience stuff. Um, so check it out. It's a good way to get up to speed with all the things that are happening on the knowledge base. The meetings won't all be that long this week. Um, uh, you know, we should just an update on, you know, what's new since last week. And, um, and then we'll be able to talk about things that people uh, need help with or have questions about, or, you know, just the things that need to be discussed, decisions to be made around the knowledge base. So, if you have questions, concerns, things that you wanna see us talk about and you can't be at the meeting, please add them to the wiki and we will talk about them. Um, oh, and like I said, there's a, a video from last week so you can get caught up if you uh, weren't part of that meeting. 
um, you can watch that. So that's about it. Um, be sure to go check out those um, Firefox Clinic videos. They're really cool. And I'll talk to you next week.